A surge in economic growth to 10.7% in the fourth quarter of last year meant China easily beat its growth target of 8% for 2009. Figures released on Thursday showed the economy was worth over $4.9 trillion last year, meaning that China is very likely to overcome Japan as the world's second largest economy. For all of the year, the economy grew 8.7%. We'll have more on the new data and what it means for China's economic outlook later in the program. A senior Chinese diplomat has announced that China will boost its cash aid to earthquake-hit Haiti. The country will also send a 40-member medical care and epidemic prevention team to the Caribbean country. Liu Zhenmin, China's deputy representative at the UN in New York, said the new contribution follows a donation last week of $1 million by the Chinese Red Cross. The Chinese government has already pledged about $4.5 million worth of humanitarian emergency supplies. The first batch arrived in the capital, Port-au-Prince, last Sunday. The second consignment was delayed due to flight backlogs at the city's airport. It's expected to arrive next week. A 60-member emergency rescue team sent by the Chinese government has been on the ground in Haiti since the day after the disaster struck. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has urged China to investigate the recent cyber attacks which the U.S. search engine giant Google said led it to threaten to pull out of the country. She said the U.S. looked to the Chinese authorities to conduct a thorough review of the cyber intrusions and to openly publish the results. Clinton cited a number of countries where there had been what she called a spike in threats to the free flow of information over the past year. She also named Tunisia, Uzbekistan, Egypt and Vietnam. However, speaking on Thursday in Beijing, China's vice foreign minister, He Yafei, told reporters the Google incident should not be linked to bilateral relations as this would be over-interpreting the situation. Meanwhile, Google's CEO has said his company remains quite committed to remaining in China. However, Eric Schmidt insisted that the company would soon go ahead with its promise to stop censoring search results on its localized Chinese search engine, Google.cn. Schmidt was quoted as saying, we wish to remain in China. We like the Chinese people and our Chinese employees. We like the business opportunities Opportunities there, but would like to do that on somewhat different terms than we have. He said the company was in conversation with the Chinese authorities and that Google's business in China remains currently unchanged. Chinese soccer has been rocked again over corruption allegations. Top officials from the sports ruling body are under investigation amid a nationwide clampdown on gambling and match fixing. Nan Yong, vice president of the Chinese Football Association, the CFA, was taken in for questioning over the weekend. Meanwhile, Yang Yumin, another CFA vice president, and Zhang Jiantiang, the women's soccer chief who was in charge of refereeing, are also helping police with their inquiries. Jia Chou Tuan, former head coach of the National Olympic team, was questioned last week. The investigation is the most high profile since the campaign began last August to eradicate gambling and match fixing in this troubled sport. So far, more than 100 current and former players, coaches, referees, club officials and industry insiders have been questioned. China's Premier Wen Jiabao is the most influential leader shaping global politics in 2010. That's according to a list drawn up by a leading New York-based think tank. The Eurasia Group attributed Wen's ranking to a success in guiding China through the worst of the economic crisis last year. Wen is followed on the Leaders to Watch in 2010 list by US President Barack Obama. Ichiro Ozawa, former president of the Dem Democratic Party of Japan, David Cameron, leader of Britain's opposition Conservative Party, and Brazilian president Luiz Ignacio Lula da Silva. China's anti-pornography and anti-illegal publications office said that from December to mid-January, it received more than 90,000 tip-offs about porn websites. It added that 215 whistleblowers were paid rewards, ranging from around $150 to $10,000 for reporting illegal sites. The office said that last year, more than 15,000 pornographic websites, including over 11,000 mobile WAP sites, were shut down or blocked across China in 2009. On December 8th, the, new, the authorities launched a new crackdown on spreading pornographic contents through the internet in what is called a campaign to purify the social environment. And that's the BON News headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.